Hello and welcome back, Rocketeers, to another exciting week of esports. I'm your host, TJ Barry, and we're going to have another exciting week of Battle Royale. Today we have UNC Charlotte versus UNC Greensboro. I'm super excited to see what kind of strategies are going to pop out. We saw some pretty interesting things last week, and I'm excited to see who's going to be our top player of the week this week. In the meantime, we're going to pour it over to the game, and we're going to check it out. All right, so we are loaded in. Uh, we have all of our players here. Um, uh, coming in from UNCG, we have Ryan, we have Edward, we have Miles. From UNCC, we have Riley. We have oh -ho -ho -ho. We have Otto. And we have... Is it two Autos? We have oh -ho -ho. We have Otto. We have Kaden from UNCG. And if I missed you... I'm sorry, but we'll see you in the game. Um, in the meanwhile, I'm going to get us nice and started. As you can see now, we from our map, you can see where all of our players are getting ready together. They're practicing with their wands. As they're loaded in right now, they may see a black screen. But right now, just like every other Battle Royale, each of our teams is figuring out where they want to drop. So we have a map of nine randomly generated maps made from people just like you back at home and in class. So right now, they're trying to figure out where they want to land. I'm interested to see what kind of strategies they're going to play out now. Are they all going to drop together? Are they going to drop in squads? Will they drop out solo? We're going to see. In the meantime, if you look at our map here, we have our favorites. So we have the crystals at the top left, usually full of really good loot. Also, the neon graveyard at the bottom middle. We have our mountain peaks to the right. We have our bridge in the center. And we have our lakes and our temple. But it looks like our players are loading in. So let's load on in. And our first player we see is Oh Ho Ho Ho. And it looks like Oh Ho Ho Ho. And the rest of his teammates have decided to land at the temple, which is a pretty interesting play. Uh, you can get some pretty decent loot there, although I don't know if there's too many boxes there. Meanwhile, we have UNCG landing out somewhere very close by. Well, it looks like both our teams managed to pick some pretty decent spots near each other. It looks like over here in the little mountain area, you can get some pretty good loot. I hope that none of our players end up running into each other before they can get set up. Uh, usually what I like to do in Battle Royale is, since you can get different kinds of wands, I like to get a close range wand, a long range wand, a shielding wand, and a couple of potions in case things get a little bit sticky, you know? It looks like UNCG is trying to gather up their teammates together to, to put together some sort of um, fort so they can hold it down. Meanwhile, UNCC seems to be leaving the temple and heading over to another area to try to find more loot. I'm interested to see when the players are going to decide to go after each other. Now, in this game... Just like other battle royales, well, I guess only just like Fortnite, uh, you can also gather materials. So if you right click generally within a match, you can gather colors from different objects in order to get materials in order to build up. And, and you can use the build strategies for a different number of ways. You can use it to block attacks, you can use it to get the height over your opponent, you can use it to build your opponent in or set up a, like a force, a fort to protect yourself from your opponents. So I'm interested to see what kind of strategies are going to play out here. It looks like UNCC has relocated and has stretched themselves out looking for more loot, looking to see what kind of wands they can get. I'm also interested to see what kind of, what favorite wands they are for this week. I know last week, one of the big ones was our, I like to call it a pinball wand because it makes a giant orb that bounces off everything. But I'm also super interested to see what kind of wands our players are going to use this week. As we zero it in, it looks like Ryan is gathering materials, running around through the temple, seeing what UNCC has left, if they've left even anything. Edward deciding to build up, having some kind of strategy. Meanwhile, Otto's also gathering materials, and Caden is also climbing up with Edward. Meanwhile, UNCC parts and Riley and Ohoho. It looks like it's going to be a build battle coming up. As everyone is gathering their materials and trying to build into the sky. Oh, ho, ho, looking for better wands. Meanwhile, Miles from UNCG still searching around to see if you can find anything better in the loot. Ryan running around by himself. 
Oh, and it looks like Edward is running over to the side, also just looking around, gathering materials, and looking for their opponents. Meanwhile, back at UNCC, they are... Oh, it looks like Otto is on the hunt. He's run into a fort that seems for UNCG. Will he be able to take them out on his own? Meanwhile, Caden and Miles on the hunt, looking around, trying to guard their base. Part sneaking around towards the end. Is he going to help his partner? Oh, and it looks like someone has spotted Parts. Oh, no. And they have been gazing a battle. We're going to zoom on in and see what's going on here. And it looks like UNCC, UNCC Riley and Otto are engaged in battle with the other team. Ryan and Parts and Edward all completely going at it with these giant pinball orbs. There are orbs flying everywhere. Bouncing left and right. It looks like it's a whole team battle going on. Ooh, and it looks like Otto is taken out. Miles and Caden also back on the hunt trying to find any more opponents. Oh, and it looks like Riley still firing away. Otto completely out of his league. Oh, it looks like part firing oh, right away. Listen, everyone's favorite wand seems to be the orb this time around. And they're flying everywhere. Effects going crazy here. It looks like the storm is also closing in. So will this battle be because of the storm? Or will it be because of them fighting? Oh, and it looks like Edward and Caden still not letting them go. Meanwhile, Ryan and Miles relocating. Looks like UNCG is backing off a bit, but UNCC is not having any of it. Parts in oh ho ho completely firing away at Edward and Miles. Ooh, and our team are going straight at it. They do not care about a storm closing in at all. They are ready to get this done and get this done soon. Ooh, and it looks like Caden is relocating. Parts, you got to get out of the storm. Don't forget, guys, if you hold shift down while you run, it'll allow you to sprint and move faster. Don't forget, you can also use building to your advantage. Maybe you can block your opponents in. Maybe drop them in the storm. There are also wands that push people away. All right, we're zooming back in on the Edward, who seems to have put his wand away and taken out his build wand for now. Caden back on the hunt, looking around, making sure that they can survive. Riley and Caden up. Immediately in front of each other. And it looks like Caden takes out Riley. And it looks like only our UNCG members have survived. So this round is going to UNC Greensboro. Great job, guys. Really amazing match. If you'd like, you can battle it out with your friends to see who can be number one. And Edward knocking out the floor of his friend Caden. So it's just Caden and Edward 1v1, the only ones left. Who's going to be our supreme winner of this match? Looks like Caden keeping Edward on his toes. But Edward clutches the win. Good job, Edward. We're going to port back on over and we'll catch you guys in a little bit for our next match.
we are back. What an amazing match we had from UNC Greensboro. We're getting ready to set up another match between UNC Charlotte and UNC Greensboro with a little variation in our teams. I'm excited to see if Charlotte's going to be able to pull off a win and get their redemption or if Greensboro's going to take the W once again. Uh, we're going to put on over into our match and we're going to see what's happening over there on the island. So, back on the island, we have UNCC Babel, UNCC 4, 5, 6, 7. We have Zoe UNCG, Jordan Scott from UNCG, Cameron from UNCG, Haley from UNCG. From UNCC, we have Maxi Boy, Auto Babel 4, 5, 6, and I believe I said everyone. So, again, um, we are going to get started very soon. Um, as our teams are loading in, once again, they're going to be figuring out where they want to land. I'm interested to see what kind of strategy is going to play out this time. As we're waiting, we want to give a special shout out to Ethan, always holding us down, always coming back, and helping keep us nice and live in our chat. So, shout out to you, my friend. So, as our teams are loading in, let's see how our maps have generated. It looks like we have the legs down at the bottom. Bottom right, bottom middle. Um, on the left, we have our mountain. We have the bridge in the middle left. Oh, looks like it might be our neon graveyard. It's going to be the main center for this match, which could be really interesting. I always love battling it there. One of my favorite spots, again, is the crystals at the top right. We have our temple at the top. And then we also have our Twin Peaks. So I'm interested to see where our teams are going to land this time. What kind of strategies are they going to pull out? Last time we had a bunch of pinball wizards and that was crazy. I'm interested to see what kind of wands they're going to pick up now. Are they going to... Um, maybe I would recommend maybe getting some shield wands to protect yourselves from those giant orbs. You know? Also some potions because those battles can get kind of hectic. But as our teams are dropping in, we see UNCG has decided to land together. So we have Haley, Jordan, Zoe, and Cameron all hanging out together. Meanwhile, back at the Neon Graveyard, we have Otto. We have four, five, six, seven. We have Cameron and we have Zoe. Looks like Baffle running around looking for some kind of wand. In the meantime, we are going to zoom on out and see what's happening from the skies. So it looks like, again, our teams have decided to land somewhat near each other. It might get a little bit crazy, so I would wonder if Babel and Otto are going to be okay. They're getting dangerously close to the UNCG team. And I know right now everyone is looking around to see what kind of objects they can find. And looks like UNCG is on the hunt trying to find anybody they can find. I re recommend the UNCC team gathering together. I don't know if you can take off 1v4. Oh, and it looks like 4567 has maybe found someone. Or maybe it was a misclick. I definitely saw... I'm firing away from his wand. Cameron looking around to see if he can find anybody. Meanwhile, Zoe and Jordan also on the hunt, trying to protect their area. And like I said, it looks like our neon graveyard here might be where our final battle takes place. Meanwhile, Baffle and Otto still trying to find decent wands. Looking around to see what they can get their hands on in order to get the advantage over their opponents. Haley also back at the graveyard looking around. I want to be very careful for our teammates. Oh, and it looks like our UNCC teammates have been spotted. So we have a battle taking place right now. We have four, five, six going right at it against Cameron and Jordan. Oh, and it looks like they're firing away. Again, we have some pinballs flying in the air here. I would take advantage of using this moving headstone to try to get away. It looks like we have some shields going on. Zoe. Oh, and it looks like a lot of shields popping out. These guys are pulling out all kinds of strategies to protect themselves. 
and it looks like right on top of our stairs here the battle is going strong will our umcc teams be able to survive and baffle joins the fray along with auto so it looks like our entire team battle is taking place here Haley deciding to relocate a bit Four, five, six, still on the hunt, looking. Maybe if you can get a 2v1 situation against someone, they can turn the tides. Apple relocating, trying to find a spot, running around. Oh, and it looks like they are still at it. Four, five, six, and Jordan back at it. Oh, it looks like 1v1, but... Four, five, six, throwing up that shield, protecting themselves. Meanwhile, Otto using that Twister one. Oh, and it looks like we have some interesting strategies going on. People hiding behind. Oh, and it looks like somebody was taken out. Meanwhile, we have Otto, we have Bapel, and we have Cameron still on the hunt. Four, five, six, seven. One of the leading players in this battle still surviving. One of the only ones left. Oh, and it looks like Bapple is taking shots at 4, 5, 6, 7. It's going to be a 1v1 match here. Up, oh, and it looks like Haley is joining the fray. 4, 5, 6 might want to relocate if he wants to survive this match. Meanwhile, Bapple taking a tactical retreat. 4, 5, 6, 7 still holding strong here. It looks like he's one of our stronger duelists. Let's see what's going on with everyone else. Haley relocating, possibly looking for some kind of potions or trying to get the advantage in their opponents. Same with Otto. Meanwhile, Cameron in the middle of battle, setting up some shots. Oh, and it looks like Cameron and Babel are in a heated battle. 1v1, who is going to be our stronger magician here? Will it be Bapple or will it be Cameron? Pulling off all types of maneuvers. Oh, and it looks like Bapple is taking the advantage here. Cameron on their toes. Oh, and it looks like Otto has decided to join in the match. It's now a 2v1 of UNCC versus UNCC Cameron. If one of Cameron's teammates can come help him, maybe they can survive that match. Otto versus Cameron, who is going to take this 1v1? Cameron making a tactical retreat, but Otto is not letting Cameron get away. Who is going to be the winner of this match? Let us know who you think in our chat. Oh, and it looks like Otto has taken the dub and started dancing. Looks like you NCC Auto. Meanwhile, Haley still on the hunt for the teammates. Auto still dancing. Four, five, six, and Bapple still on the hunt. It looks like Haley is our only remaining member of UNCG. Will Haley be able to pull off a clutch and defeat our opponents? So we have Bapple, we have Auto, and we have four, five, six, seven versus Haley. Will Haley be able to take the win? Haley using a shield to try to protect themselves against this battle. We're going to zoom on out and we're going to see if we can get a better view of this. Oh, and it looks like they are teaming up against Haley. Haley trying to protect themselves with a shield. But it looks like Otto is having none of that completely on Haley's tail. Meanwhile, that storm closing in. Oh, and things are not looking good for Haley as Otto is keeping Haley on their toes. Haley might have to turn around and actually engage in battle. Oh, that's an upset. Oh, UNCG wins in the 1v3. Haley Hunt manages to pull off what is an incredibly amazing upset. UNC Greensboro wins again. Oh, congrats to all the players and shouts out to Haley for that amazing match. Meanwhile, we have a special bonus match coming up for you. But in the meantime, I just want to let you guys know that our Battle Royale is always evolving and it's always getting better. We're always working on it and we're always trying to improve it. So in the meantime, we want to show some special care and special shout out to our development and testing team. So we're going to show you a video on that very soon.
right, we had an amazing showing from our two teams here. Shout out to UNC Greensboro for that win. UNC Charlotte still hungry for a win. We have a special challenger coming all the way from West Windsor, trying to take the spot for UNC Charlotte. On our next bonus match, we are going to have a true old-fashioned battle royale winner take all. So will friends turn into enemies? Will rivals turn into allies? We're going to see in our next match. So we're going to pull it over to the island and we're going to see who we can find. So on our island, representing UNCC still, we have Riley. We have Parts. We have Ohoho making reappearance. And we have Bapo. Meanwhile, we have Jamal. We have TK. We have ASW, and we have BRJ holding it down for our West Windsor team. And again, this is a completely winner-take-all kind of match. So anybody could, could win. It is not team versus team. It's every, every man, woman, and person for themselves. So in the meantime, we are going to get started in very soon. All right, so once again, we are back at our loading screen for the final time for the morning. It looks like our middle match could take place near the bridge. To the left and to the right have our two favorite areas where we have the Neon Graveyard and we have the Crystal Mountain. We have our lake at the top right, our double lake at the top. At the bottom, we have our temple as well. We have our double mountain peaks, our main mountain at the top, and we have our flat peaks on the bottom left-hand side. I'm super excited to see how this one's going to play out. Meanwhile, because our teammates seem to be near each other back at their home bases. So will they be trying to figure out, trying to land together? Are they going to come up with some kind of strategy to see if they can do a... If they're going to be a 1v1 at the end with their teammate, are they all going to do a free-for-all? Are they going to grab each other's wands? Are they going to be betrayals? Are they going to stab people in the back? Who knows what's going to happen? And I'm super excited to find out. Let us know. In the meantime, if you guys are enjoying this, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and you definitely help us get to 2,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. In the meanwhile... Loading in, we have found Riley right at the top of one of the foresty areas. Meanwhile, we have Pirates Breach still loading in with BRJ. We have Oho also looking. Looks like a lot of the UNC players decided to land together. But need I remind you that you guys are going against your teammates as well. There can only be one winner of this match. Looking around, we are going to zoom on out. And we're going to get a better look of where everyone has landed. So we have BRJ chilling over there around the Neon Graveyard. We have Jamal by himself in the jungle. Looks like we have a couple of people over by the temple and our lakes. So what kind of trouble are they going to get into over by the lakes? A lot of the UNCC team are together. So are they going to use that to try to get UNCC to the end? Is Riley going to battle against any of his teammates? Who knows what's going to happen? Meanwhile, Ohoho completely chilling to the side. Maybe gathering energy as long as you make sure that you have a wand. It is key to have a wand in order to win this match, folks. And it looks like Bapple may have found someone else. Will Bapple team up with Riley? Or will Bapple decide to take on Riley? No, and, oh, it looks like Bapple completely attacking Riley. Trying to get out of his competition as early as possible. Bapple with the advantage. Riley's still running around. Maybe trying to find a one to battle. But Bapple is not letting them go. Oh, and Raleigh throws up a shield, completely blocking away from Bapel. Meanwhile, Parts has joined into the fray, completely blindsiding Bapel. But Bapel using masterful skills, trying to maneuver around Parts. Oh, and it looks like Raleigh has joined in too. Looks like a 2v1 between Riley and Parts against Bapel. 
Ah, but relocating. Oh, and that's still just a 1v1 against Parts. Parts bringing out the spread one. Who is going to be our winner? This is a tight match between one's teammates turned into bitter rivals. Ooh, Baffles pulling out the shield, trying to protect themselves and get a little bit of distance. Oh, and it looks like Parts manages to take out Baffle. All right, zooming into our other players, we have Jamal hanging out with TK. Oh, and it looks like Jamal has run into someone. Possibly searching around for the teammates. Meanwhile, ASW also hanging out. So it looks like our West Winter guys are teaming up to see if they can get rid of their other enemies first before they attack each other. Meanwhile, Riley hunting for more wands after surviving that last match. Oh ho ho and Parts also teaming up to see if they can take out anyone else. Oh, it looks like BRJ and Jamal are in battle. Jamal looking like they have the elite. Oh, and TK rushes in. It is a complete free-for-all. Shot, shot orbs everywhere. We see orb spreads going left and right. Everyone seemed to have relocated themselves. And it looks like TK and ASW are on the hunt for BRJ. Oh, TK not letting them go. Will BRJ be able to survive this? They might have to turn around and fight. Ooh, BRJ taking a lot of blows. BRJ turning around, deciding that they want to handle it. TK still on that hunt. Oh, and BRJ brings out their spread one. We are in a bitter fight now here, folks, between TK and BRJ. TK once in the lead. Looks like BRJ has put TK on their toes. Ooh, and they are in battle, trying to maneuver around each other. Meanwhile, looks like another battle is taking place. Somewhere in the Neon Graveyard, we see orbs flying in the background. ASW in battle against Parts and Ohoho. Oh, and it looks like ASW was taken out. Heading back into our match against BRJ and TK. They are still going at it strong. Both of these competitors using massive maneuvers. BRJ seems to have the lead right now. Still going at it strong. It looks like Raleigh may be sneaking up on their battle. Ooh, and TK is running. Maybe they've run out of energy and need to... Oh, it looks like... Oh, fires off a pinball. Trying to help out their teammates or maybe take advantage of a situation. BRJ and TK still in a heated battle. Meanwhile, the storm is closing on in. And it looks like Parks has routed them. Looks like Parts and Ohoho taking advantage of it. And it looks like they managed to take out BRJ. TK still on and running. Oh, and it looks like Raleigh has jumped on into the match as well. So we have our final four competitors. We have Ohoho, Parts, Raleigh, and TK. It looks like Ohoho and Parts are still going to team up and try to take out their opponents beforehand. Will Riley and TK decide to let bygones be bygones and team up as well? Looks like TK may be looking for a potion or figuring out some kind of strategy to survive. We're going to zoom on it. Looks like Riley and Parts are all just hanging out together. Maybe trying to take out TK first before they turn on each other. Need I remind you that you guys are in a battle royale and there can only be one winner. Oh, Parts decides to turn on Ohoho in a upsetting event. And it looks like Parts is putting Ohoho on skates. Oh, and Parts takes the lead. So we have Riley and we have Parts finally left. Who's going to be our final winner? 
Price firing off those pinballs. Will Riley be able to clutch the win? Parts not letting Riley go. Completely decimating with that tornado one. Riley's going to have to turn around and fight if they want to pull off any sort of win here. On the side, it relocates. And it's a battle of the tornado wands here, folks. Who is going to be our winner between Riley and Parts? Ooh, and the storm is closing in. Maybe someone can take that to their advantage. If they can push their opponent in the storm, they can get some much needed extra damage on their opponents to help win. How fitting is it that we have our final match here in the graveyard? And we have, ooh, Parts versus Riley. Riley bringing out that pinball, completely bouncing off the floor. Meanwhile, Parts is still. Using that tornado wand to hold strong. Who's gonna be our winner? This is gonna be a tough battle. Who is gonna be our winner between Parts and Riley? It looks like Parts has the advantage here. Oh, and you, MCC Parts is our winner. Congrats, guys. congrats, our winners! Great job playing. You guys have been amazing. Tune in to us a little bit later for this afternoon as we have another exciting match for you guys. I've been TJ, and I'll see you guys next time.